of 403 classical games. The great number 29, KB, Kevin Bartner. Welcome, KB. Thanks, Sandy. And what a great night it is for Stewie Lowe. Club record, 301 games for the Saints. And it was terrific to see Barry Breen down there. And there he is on screen. Let's hope he has a great game in such a, a milestone for St Kilda. Well, they've got a couple, haven't they? Because Nathan Burke is going to be joining that illustrious club next week, all being well. Up in Canberra. Yep. So uh, if they're needing milestones to lift them, they could have a couple of good weeks. But let's see what happens because uh, the Hawks have done everything right. There's Johnny Barker wearing the 27 strip, Trent Road in 24. Tony Woods, Daniel Chick. Crowd still coming in. And Stewie Lowe with Barry Hall. Interesting to see who gets Lowe and Rawlings is the man. Jade Rawlings. Jade Rawlings. And Mark Graham picking up Aaron Hammer. Mark Graham on Hamill. Jonathan Hay on Barry Hall. So Nathan Thompson. Looks like Garrick's Eric. gone down onto Nathan Thompson, yep. Yep. Johnny Barker. Maxie Hutchton. He's been in the goals. There. Three goals last week. 16 for the season. 16 goals, eight to Johnny Barker. Uh, we're set to go. Big roar to start proceedings for these two Melbourne clubs. The Saints going to the left of screen. It was Lenny Hayes who tried to get it down towards Baker. Head down, bottom up, gets a free kick, take it too high. He's a little goer, and he plays on quickly with a hand pass. The Saints go in towards Hall. One grab, can't take it. Waiting now for the hand pass there was Glenn Bowyer. Not out of trouble yet. Stuart Lowe on the left foot. No one at home. Positive start, though, by the Saints. McFarlane is going short. As the kick comes from Joel Smith, uh, he's on the verge of a major milestone, 299. Back to Bowyer. Bowyer gives it away once more. As I said, Joel Smith on 99 games. And uh, Raiden Tallis, you're about to see, is playing his 100th tonight. The Woods hand pass. Well, I reckon he got called out. It was a good play by Voss. Low. Tallis couldn't get a hand on it. Woods there also. Gang tackle. Loses it. Still a chance for the Saints. Trying to go through was Hamill. A cry of ball. The umpire lets it go. They want the boundary line. Stuart Lowe is on half back. Now gets it. Kicks towards the half forward line. Pop it over the top. And the mark is taken safely there by Brent Moyle. Still a long way out, but he's a good left footer. The lead is on from Hall. Again, one grab. Uh, he's paid a, uh, a free kick to Hawthorne. Okay, Dixon was away. But it may come back to Hay. He was look, looking back at one of the... It, it actually didn't come from that contest. He no, was looking back at one of the uh, behind-the-play ones. It's to Sean Wren. So the big man who was in very good form at York Park last week kicks it towards McFarlane. McFarlane to check on the half volley. Couldn't take it cleanly. He goes again and loses it. Crawford, cleverly done. Wren to centre wing. The bouncing ball eludes the ball. Garrick and Bowyer. Garrick, the boundary line. Throw it in, says the man in one. Well, there's a great atmosphere here at Colonial Stadium. You can see Fraser Gearing there just scooping the ball back over the line in front of Bowyer. See the interchange bench there. Peckett is there. Young Schwartz is there. Mark Gale. So, a free kick. And it goes to Peter Everett, the acting skipper tonight. From the halfback flank. The lead is on from Stewie Lowe. He's had some early touches in his milestone game. Club record tonight, 301 games. Wren in front, couldn't take it. Hamill was pushed off the ball. Wren, quick hands, finds Tallis. 100th game today. Just to be famous for Dermot Brewer and standing on his head. No more. He's <laughs> a star in his own right. Blake. Again, Stewie Lowe is going to be the target, backing back. You have to show courage. Hamill goes to ground. Oh. Lenny Hayes wants a free. Hamill drags the ball in. He, he might be pinged. The you decision see, by umpire John see, Harvey. He's trying to keep the ball in the forward line, but KB, that's the law. When you drag the ball back in, that's uh, perceived as opportunity to knock it out. Oh. Now this boy's going to be run down. 
great chasing by Young Mill. He's a live wire. Some dancing feet. And Barry Hall is hit on the chest. Big, well, bad, bustling, bruising Barry Hall has got it. And you can see a number of St Kilda players rushing to young Stephen Mill. And that's a great piece of play. It's a brilliant chase. He ran down Luke McFarlane, who obviously didn't get a call from his teammates. Stripped him of the ball. Played on. And then delivered the ball straight into Barry Hall, who's been in very good form up forward in the last fortnight. And this should be goals for wonderful season. for his confidence if he just kicked the first one. St Kilda fans behind the goal will tell the story if Barry Hall can kick it. He's pushed it right from behind. But I think that's his position, Jason. Playing at full forward, he looks a far better player than the experiment at fullback. Yeah, I think so. He just probably lacks a yard of pace to play down back, but he gives a very good lead in contest up forward and a good physical presence. Rawlings. Good tight start here at Colonial on this Saturday night. Rawlings, Everett, late. Talis, the 100 game. To Crawford. We can transfer play here. And he's going to have to do that eventually with a penetrating hand pass laterally to Rawlings. Still trying to set something up, so he goes back again. And finally, they do get clear. Up towards the centre of the ground, that's fine because Wren is loose. Sean Wren gets around Burke, thought about Woods, then tumbles a punt up towards the half border once again. Great fingertip mark oh. taken by Crow. That is a brilliant slips catch. He's taken that clean in the hands. It looked for all money that the ball was going to hit the deck. And Crow was the one that burst out of the pack and just reached down with very clean hands. Have a look at this, two of them going for it. That's just a tremendous take. And again, similar to Barry Hall at the other end. It's all about confidence. You kick the first one. You get yourself and the team off and running. Eight goals, eight. He's kicked for the season. So maybe some would say he's a 50% chance. Always to the left. He is probably just on the threshold of his distance, but a little bit close to the man on the mark. So it will be Garrick to find someone back in play. Delaney wants it wide. Hudson is there as well. He may look towards Everett. Can't get a run in it. That's a big mark over the top to John Barker. He goes short to Woods. Woods is 55 out. Hawthorne are threatening here. Smashed away to the boundary line by Justin Kaczynski. This good play by the young man from Brocklesby. He looks like he's going to be a fantastic player, young Kaczynski. He's big. Look at that. And obviously he's smart. He could see that was happening, Jason. He could. It was just uh, probably a split second too late for Tony Woods. Lenny Hayes is uh, still recovering from a pretty hard knock there. It looks like the blood rule is uh, going to happen here. Well, he was the one that Trent Crow flew into to try and take the mark as Kaczynski came across. And obviously he has a cut above the eye. You can just see... Oh, gee, he hit the ground heavily, didn't he? Hit the ground very heavily. And may have popped just the boot of his teammate, I think, yeah. as it came across, Justin Kaczynski. Brett Knowles has uh, replaced him, Jason. Mm. So a throw in in the pocket with Hawthorne in attack. Each side with a behind. Barker contesting again, takes it towards the line. Dixon is lurking. He had a very good game last week, Ben Dixon. And again, it's over the line. We saw last week, KB, you're in uh, Tasmania with me. Uh, a lot of players were slipping. Once again tonight, the players are, are slipping. We saw Woods there before he kicked that ball slip, so uh, be aware of that tonight. Parker again, poking it down in front. Dixon could have almost given away the free kick on beat, but not to be over, and Bowyer takes the mark. He'll send the Hawks deep into their attacking zone again, Glenn Bowyer. The crowd lead is ignored. He's got players streaming everywhere. This has got to be accurate. It almost was, but Beetham just nips in front. Takes a good one. He's had a pretty exciting start to the season, Caden Beetham. He's got Delaney on the outer side. An even start to this first quarter. Tony Delaney looks towards centre wing. Big ask for uh, the bucket hands of Stuart Lowe. He was surrounded by Brown and Gold, but he's equal to the task. Spider Everett's uh, lurking on this side of the ground. He's ignored. Hamill popped a shove, at least appeared to, but the mark is going to be paid. Back towards uh, the centre wing. He's got Dixon all on his own. 
He's going to get there too. On 50. He's got Thompson screaming for it short. Thompson's ignored. He goes for goal. Barker. Hay. Hay oh. the Well, he has come all the way from fullback to take that mark, Jonathan Hay. You can just see Barry Hall walking to the 50 metre arc as we speak. He didn't quite go the distance with Jonathan Hay. Hoping that a teammate would cover him. Have a look at this angle, you're right, Dipper. Well, the umpire, according to the rules, Dipper has got yep. line him up to the centre of the goal line. Ball to the centre of the goal line. He's saying if you want to correct your career, kick your career seventh goal, you'll do it the hard way. Oh, he's got number seven. Seven in 68 games and back down the other end of the ground. Well, you talk about things that lift the teammates and really get you going. When a defender runs the length of the ground and does something like that, it makes the, the effort all worthwhile. He has run the length of the ground and taken a mark over the pack. Just the good leap. Probably would have gone through. Uh, I don't think a St Kilda player was going to get his hands on it. It looked like it was going to go through, but he made sure of it. And great work to Jonathan Hay. For those who drew the ticket for the first goal kicked by Jonathan Hay, buy a Tassilotto ticket as well. I'll tell you what, it looked the pull back. well. I saw him kick a couple of goals against the Blues a few weeks back. So he likes to get down and kick a goal. Is Hamill. His work rate has been better in recent weeks. Noel straight off the interchange bench. Pumps the ball back inside 50. Burke got a hand to it. He's going to hit the ball hard. A touch of the fumble in game number 299. Mill with those dancing feet is caught by Harford. Good strong play, taken away by McKay. Finds Joel Smith. Bang! Tallis runs straight into Stewie Lowe. 100th game for that man with the ball, the man on the mark. A record for the Saints, 301. Rawlings. Now one of the best defenders in the game. To centre wing, big pack of players. Barker hit it hard, loose ball. Chance now, Law streams to the edge of the centre square, sets up, check, bang, hits, crow on the chest. And Dixon. Dixon. And Dixon, screaming for the ball in the goal square, throws the head back in disgust as Crowe leans back, unloads, big bomb, big goal. you have to kick the goal and that's what Trent Crowe did he just got caught in two minds he thought about the quick kick down to Dixon who was streaming back to the goal square it was a great interception from Lord he could have passed to Crowe on the lead then because he started from the goal square and by the time the ball got to Chick he was out near the 50 you could just see him think about it then he said no and I think to cover up the fact that he ignored him he kicked it very quickly but a beautiful kick from just outside 50 Lekas on for Woods and Crowd has his first. Good goal. Everett and Co. out of the middle. Baker gets clear. Ships wide. Knowles has got to run and he needs a kind bounce. Milner's there as well. Around the body he goes towards Burke and Low. Joel Smith. Game number 99 for him. Across the ground. Oh, great interception. Begley to Low. Well, you can put that one down to James Begley because the Hawks had the numbers on the outer flank and he just took the bit between the teeth. He took off, he intercepted the ball right in between the two Hawthorne players, couldn't quite control the mark. His recovery was good and the left foot disposal to Lowe was brilliant. Five goals so far this year. 563 in this magnificent 301 game career. 25 out. Lowe gets one back. It's been uh, a big past week for Stuart Lowe, joining the, the 300 club, now breaking the club record this week. It's on the space of seven days or eight days. It's two very big milestones. And the other thing is we just see Begley. Great interception there when the Hawks had the numbers. Look at the left foot pass. He's been in good form, though. It's one thing to have milestones. It's another to play very, very good football on those milestones. He certainly did it last week. And looks like he started the same sort of fashion with five kicks and three marks already. Hawks by six points 
there's always been some big raps on James Begley. Where his shoulder last year? Didn't play the last 10 or 12 games. You see his shoulder heavily strapped. Caden Beethan, fine young player for the Saints. Boya runs into a brick wall. Pachoni started on the bench. Rawlings will set it up. Handball wasn't good. Big pinch this time by Knowles. He's been handy since coming off the bench. Replacing Lenny Hayes, the acting skipper Everett. Just goes wide. Pounced on. Begley, a high ball. Milne pushing and shoving. He's dangerous at ground level. Smith having to paddle the ball and kept it in. No, says the umpire. It's a toss back. 2-1-13, the Hawks. The Saints, 1-1-7. Saints fans had long memories, giving Joel a little bit of a how do Yes, he's a fine young player. It's the 99th game tonight, and he's playing against the side where he thought he'd play 100 games for. Half it, caught. Good enough to get the handball away. Smith belts the ball back. Peter Everett building the wall. Acting captain tonight. No Robert Harvey, no Andrew Thompson. He's out of the side. Gale is coming for the Saints. Low in front. The big fist away. That came from Rawlings. They'll need a crumb up. This young boy's a good player, McFarlane. Finds Tallis. Half back flank. Short. Dixon. Long way up from the forward pocket. Great kick, finds Thompson. This is where the Hawks are good. They can run hard in the forward line. Here's a chance. Check out in front. Delaney keeps the ball alive. And the umpire, the boundary umpire, is on centre wing and he's called it out. We still haven't seen him in the picture. No, the signal came from the goal umpire. You can just see him. He just goes out of the screen there. He pops the hand up in the air. There it is. OK, and well done. Waits for the boundary umpire to, to run a 200 to get there. Teamwork, it's called. Boundary throw in. Chance for the Hawks, Everett, to the front of the pack. They've got the numbers. Blake went wide and finds Begley. Started pretty well, James Begley. Just his 10th game. Maxi Hudson, oh, danger here. Danger, half it, the hand pass OK. Boya, tight angle, just chipping short. Like a little nine iron finding Crow. Loose players everywhere. Crow goes into the middle and ties and takes them. Harford still down behind plate as Thompson goes back. 40 out directly in front. Law coming off and Dent's coming off the Hawks. Four goals, seven to his name this year. Kicked 39 goals last season. That's what lies ahead of him. That four goal seven perhaps telling us a little something. Half for coming off there, Sandy. Thanks, Dip. It doesn't look to be too bad. Uh... St Kilda's made a change too, Dipper. Lenny yeah. Hayes. Yeah, Lenny Hayes is uh, off. Patched, oh, no, no, back up. on, yeah, yeah, back on. There he is. Yep, yeah. Hayes back on, patched up. Begley takes the mark. He's at half back, James Begley. Lowe's come a long way down towards centre wing. Well, he had to beat three. He got the ride, but he couldn't take the mark. Lekas eludes one, eludes two. Gives it across to Pachoni. Back to Lekas is good. Lekas, 65 out. Centering ball has got to be accurate. There are a couple there. They only needed one. There was Barker and there was Dixon. He's picked out John Barker. John Barker's just been in scintillating form all year. He's the one that's carried the load while Nick Holland's been out. And he's been marking beautifully overhead. Ben Dixon does some good work. Just holding the player off behind. You, you could just see... It was uh, Jason Blake trying to reach over and spoil. He couldn't get there. And Barker took the strong mark and can now make amends for the miss of Nathan Thompson moments ago. Three goals last week against Adelaide. 16 for the season. Going for his first tonight. No problem. No problem for the Hawks. Well, he's just, he would have to qualify, I think, KB, as one of the most improved players in the competition, John Barker. He's been brilliant. Well, I was just trying to think, Jason, where we've seen a, a player who's, say, 23, 24 years of age, who over the last two years has made such big strides more so than John Barker. He's just become a, a star. A late bloomer. He was at Fitzroy, went to Brisbane in the merge. Now he's finally found his niche at half forward at the Hawks, and are they glad to have him in that sort of form? Hawks by 13 points, 3-2-20, the Saints 1-1-7. Everett against Wren comes charging in, got his hands on the ball first, bang, Tallis. 
Good hip and shoulder. Still inside the centre square. Dixon. Rockets the ball out. Didn't really hit a target. Touch of the fumbles. That was unusual for Crawford. Clever enough to get the ball back to Joel Smith. Here comes Moyle. McFarlane has been very handy across half back. This time the kick wobbles into the arms of Beetham. Tries to push Dent off. I think we'll find Caden Beetham. Very good player for the Saints. Powell tries to drill it. And Rawling so strong overhead it wasn't paid. Kicked off the ground by Stewie Lowe. Chance for the Hawks. McFarlane again. So strong across half back. Joel yeah. Smith just chipped it short and finds Piccioni. Thompson on a long lead. He's going to go long. Barker's going to be the target in front. Good hands. Fantastic mark. Bounces to his feet. Dragged down. Crowd overruns the ball. He was clean bowled. Still a chance for the Hawks. Check. Squeezed up on the boundary line. Tries to keep it alive. Baker. From half back. Finds Lenny Hayes. You can see the eye all patched up. Maybe the eyesight's not so good. Oh, There's a flick back. There's a throw. And he's been pinned. Wren from centre wing to centre half forward. Here comes Thompson. Boss. Clever mark. Brave attempt to get in front. Then big Thompson comes bearing down. Coming away is Blake. Drills it. Two against one. It's going to be tough. It's three against one now for Everett. The Hawks are getting numbers around the ball. Finds Tony Woods in the centre square. Chance now for Dent to unload. Penetrating kick. Good kick. Dixon. So, so, many, so much firepower up on the forward line there, Jason. Yeah, there's a lot of options. Dixon on the long lead. And it was a good decision from Matthew Dent. He had the chance to go short. He could have linked up with another hand pass. But they'd squared the ball up, and he chose the right option. He said, let's go long and direct into the forward line. There's Dixon on the lead. And he'll still take a good kick. He's probably on a, a reasonably tight angle. Kick from 45, but he's one of the better kicks in the team. Ben Dixon. Been so handy again this year. He's a dangerous player. Eight goals for the season. 45 metres out. Look at those Hawthorne flags. He's banged it through. He started off very well, Ben Dixon. Three kicks, three marks and a hand pass. Four possessions, one goal. He did have 20-odd kicks last week playing down in Tasmania. Up on the flank, he really did push up almost uh, as a, an extra midfielder on that occasion. He can play deep in attack. He can also play up on the ball. So good flexibility in the forward setup for the Hawks at the moment. Well, Delaney, who started on uh, Chick... Handy goal with just four and a half minutes remaining to the Hawks. Still plenty of time, though. Delaney the... off the ground, uh, Sandy, who started on uh, Daniel Chick, and young uh, Swartz now picking him up. Thank you, Deb. Everett and Wren doing the work in the middle. The Saints uh, out of the centre, courtesy of Brett Knowles, who turns 23 tomorrow. So happy birthday for tomorrow. And we'll be looking for a nice early present. Begley picked up a lot of possessions in this first quarter. Goes towards Hall. Has front spot. Hay was at the back. The pass a snap. Oh, good effort. Jonathan Hay at the moment doing well on, ham on um, Big Bad Bustling. Stuart Lowe secured his only goal kicker. Whilst for Hawthorne, Hay, Dixon, Crowd and Barker each have one. Yes, Jonathan Hay. Has kicked a goal. And here he is. Always holds that last line of defence together. He's on half back. Good crowd in here at Colonial tonight. Great to see. Beatham a big flyer, <laughs> intending to spoil, but not successful. Wren. Really settling into the brown and gold. Chipping short, and that's okay. Finding Crow, still a long way from home. Just forward of centre wing. You're looking for Thompson here, I think. Crow, into half forward. A congested area it is, too. Burke floats it down quickly. The hurried kick is wide, too wide. Out on the full and taken by Dipper. He gives it straight to Wren. He plays on from Dippy and Domenico and kicks it in towards the middle. Graham gives it off to Joel Smith, who'd love to do something against his old side on the scoreboard. 
but he gives a teammate that talks him the chance to do exactly that. Ah, uh, set up another goal, I have. You've done it again, Dipper. <laughs> Great done play. It again. Great play from Joel Smith. He saw the ball being squared up to Mark Graham, took off from half back, and at full pace, a delicate little chip pass on the left boot, easier said than done, found the leading Nathan Thompson, who missed one from a very similar sort of position. Yep, almost identical. Let's see what he can do this time. Same and he's result. put it in exactly the same, same spot. Side, yep. That's uh, four goals, nine for Nathan Thompson. And uh, here we are, the old number nine. Look, he hasn't lost it. The old girth might have got a little wide of it by <laughs> G. That hand pass was deadly. Everett sets himself. Couldn't take it on the second grab. Burke always works hard at the bottom of the pack. Stewie Lowe, his partner in crime for so many years, playing in front. Rawlings tries to tie him up. Begley has been very handy in this first quarter. Lowe's kick was pinched that time by McCabe. They set it up. Pachoni rockets the ball across the Leggers, who started on the bench. He'll find his skipper. It was a very lazy handball to Tallis, oh. who just popped it up. I think it was meant for Wren, but Thompson's got it. He's going to have his third shot in the space of about four or five minutes, Nathan Thompson. All from 45 to 50 metres out, pretty much directly in front. He's got a loose player. Loose player it's Dixon. Dixon. I reckon he was hiding behind the umpire. Now, it puts him on a 45-degree angle, so it's a tighter angle than Thompson had, but it does put him about 15 metres closer to the goal. And I think when you've missed a couple of KB, you're always happy to pass one off when you've got a loose player, aren't you? I never ever did that. <laughs> no, I was going to say, why are you talking I to just KB kept about shooting that? for goal. Sorry, my mistake, KB. I just kept having a shot. <laughs> Eventually, you had to get one. <laughs> they kicked the beauty from the other side. Well, this is his preferred side. Dixon. Swings back, not enough. Just shaved the post. We need the old Johnny Barker there, the old left to right. Then Dixon. A couple of wasted opportunities one goal, one. from the Hawks. They've, uh, well, they've got a lead, but it could have been considerably bigger. Caden Beatham. And Fraser Geerich. Schwartz for the Saints just made some space so Powell the ex-Tiger has been bowled over oh, so yeah. the free kick down the field be taken by James Begley so he's had a, fair, good had a fair bit of the ball seven possessions and three marks goes to half forward with only seconds remaining in the quarter low again was the target unable to take it McFarlane is at the back He's had a good quarter too. This hand pass could be interesting. Milne couldn't take it. Burke man. Burke with the money. Kicks a late goal. Nathan Burke gets his first goal. And we were giving Luke McFarlane a huge rap. Just the hand pass. A little errant on that occasion. He was under a ton of pressure. They seemed to have the numbers, but ended up going back into the only traffic that was there. And Nathan Burke, who plays his 300th next week, celebrates a little early with a good goal that just inches them closer, and they'd be pretty happy to be within 14 points, I'd suggest, at this yeah. stage of the game, considering how much ball and how much play that the Hawks have had. We can just see Trent Crowe getting a message from the coach explaining exactly why he'd been brought off, probably for that downfield free kick that he'd given away just 30 seconds ago. 14 points the margin. Out of the middle, it's Lenny Hayes who gives it to the Spider-Man. Everett kicks towards Mill. Baker down there as well. McCabe's hand pass, almost smothered. Joel Smith tries to get through some heavy traffic. Close to siren time. Talis dashes through, gives the hand pass away quickly towards McFarlane. Off the siren. Good first quarter here at Colonial Stadium. There's uh, Luke McFarlane, Ben Dixon, Kicked the goal. I'll tell you what, he, he might have made the odd error, McFarland, but he's had 11 possessions yeah. in that first quarter. He's had a good that is ball. a lot of the ball, including three marks, so he's certainly getting involved. Fraser Garrick. Jonathan Hay. Goal kickers for the Hawks. Hay, Dixon, Crowe and Barker. Whilst for the Saints, it's Burton and Lowe. It's quarter time. The Hawks are four goals, 4-28. Four, they lead to killed at 2-2-14. Time. But before that, Dipper, it's a big night for both of these clubs because they're playing for uh, a special cup in memory of two fine men.
They certainly are, Sandy, and this is the Cup here. It's been uh, the third year now, and Hawthorne have won the last two years. And, of course, the two fine men we speak about uh, is uh, Sergeant Gary Silk and also Senior Councilman Rodney Miller, who unfortunately passed away uh, about three or four years ago. And uh, as I mentioned, the Hawks have won this the last two years and uh, expected to win it again. But Peter Swab uh, wasn't happy about that first quarter, got stuck right into him, uh, and, uh, and the other guy didn't have a chance to, uh, to speak to him. So uh, back to you, boys. 14 points the margin as we go into the second half. Well, they're kicking, letting them down in front of gold, isn't it? Chip goes towards Dixon, who got a decent old shove. Couldn't do anything with it, trying to charge his way through as Troy Schwartz. Couldn't get clear, needed assistance and gets it in the form of Powell. He eventually gets the hand pass away, finishes with Lenny Hayes, who gives it across to Burke. Burke looks towards the half forward line. They need a flying start in this quarter. The first goal, Voss may get the chance to give it to someone. He wanted Mill. He's not going to get there and he's been pinged. Interesting that uh, McFarlane is off the ground. Uh, how many possessions did he have in the first quarter? 11. 11. He's got a leather poisoning. That's a poor kick. Milne intercepts, he's going to take on big Sean Wren, oh. and he beats him, just. Milne from the pocket, sets sail for home, and just goes across the face of goal from one behind. It's amazing, Stephen Milne, he's played on from one metre directly in front of Sean Wren, he said, you're a big bloke, I'm just going to put that <laughs> dirty big obvious sidestep on you, and run around, <laughs> and then he did it. Sean will be picking himself up, <laughs> saying, you cheeky little yes. bugger. <laughs> oh dear, good stuff, Rawlings then. We'll head towards Everett territory. Four against two for the Saints. No problems for Everett. He did have Knowles there as well, and also Voss. Now he goes into half forward. It's a centering ball. Beatham is at the back. Graham tries to thump it clear. Hamill tries to get into the game. Lekas gets the hand pass out. Joel Smith is cool. The former Saint. It's a poor kick, though. Garrick should have taken more advantage of it, but didn't. Burke working hard to try and lock it up. Bowyer over the top. Garrick tidies up to Moyle. That's better. Now low. Everett screaming everybody. for it across the ground. And he gets there. <laughs> 60 metres out, though. He's too far out to score, one would suggest. Although if he gets onto it, spider, he can kick a ball. 10-7 for this season. He kicked 40 goals last year. Take a mammoth kick from inside the square. Yeah, distance is the only problem here. It's a pretty good roost. It's a darn good roost. He's kicked the goal. Well, we spoke about a pretty good roost. That is an extraordinary kick from uh, Spider Everett. And he got the ball just to spin slowly. Often when you can get the ball to spin slowly, it travels further. And I think it might have been Aaron Hamill that had the great shepherd on the goal line to put Sean Wren out of the contest. Just worked him underneath it, and that was all it took to score the goal. An inspiring goal by the acting skipper, Peter Everett. They just trail by seven points, 21 plays, 28. Everett again to Burke. They need their best players playing well. Gale, belts the ball back. Stewie Lowe, speaker one of their best. He's been manhandled. She's proving a little bit too strong for Rawlings at the moment. And that's his best position too. Centre half forward. Yeah. Nine Cross kicks already. That penetrating left foot kick. Barry Hall! Look at Sidney coming in front of Jonathan Hay. I think there was a breakdown in the Hawthorne defence there because there are uh, one or two players I thought could have backed into the contest. No one decided to attack the ball. That was the problem. Everyone was holding off. And they've allowed Barry Hall to run through and take a chest mark. Directly in front, 48 metres out. Barry Hall kicks a goal. Well, as is often the case when you've had a lot of the ball, and Hawthorne had 90 possessions to St Kilda's 55 in the first quarter. That's an extraordinary imbalance, but they didn't make the most of it on the scoreboard. And as is often the case, the tide turns. St Kilda have gone forward a couple of times this quarter, already kicked a couple of goals, and that's basically squared the game up. There's only a point in it. Good attack on the ball from Barry Hall. He's always going to give you that. So the Saints, two big men, firing early in the second quarter. Everett and Hall, both with goals. 
Peter Schwab, a little bit of thinking to do. Everett towards Burke, the old firm trying to get it out. Schwartz bundled out of it illegally. He'll take the free kick. Started on the bench, he's keen to offload it. Now comes wide towards Wing. He's got Lenny Hayes running. Pop one high in the head early, but he's recovered well. Kicks into a massive brown and gold. Oh, it's, it's, it's no mark. Voss could get a free kick here. No, he got it out. Wren almost tried to throw it away to Lekas. Clever little toe poke, and eventually finishes with Smith. Joel Smith comes away the half back line. Kicks wide to the outer side. Two on one. It's Crawford against a couple of Saints. And the Brownlow medalist wins out. His hand pass, though, does not. It goes straight to Spider Everett. Everett back towards Hamill. By G, they've lifted. Hamill gets caught by Boyer. The cry of ball goes up as one. And the umpire comes in quickly to take charge. I reckon, Sandy, that's a perfect example of one of the great values of Aaron Hamill. He was outnumbered three to one. Three to one. He flew over the ruckman, Sean Rent. He then took on Chicken Bowyer as well, and he locked the ball in. That is great contesting from Aaron Hammer. Sounds like a wrestler, Chicken Bowyer, doesn't he? <laughs> i tell you what, this game's gone up a notch, though, in the last couple of minutes. The Saints, with the first two goals, have thrown down the challenge here to the runaway leaders at the top of the ladder. And they might get another one. Here's the lead in towards the forward line. Hill around, he turns, he steadies, he shoots. It doesn't come back enough. So he had plenty this. of time, had plenty of time, Stephen Mill. He actually, he decelerated, he steadied himself, but he didn't straighten up. That was the problem. Tried to kick it around the corner. Scores level. 4-4 four, four apiece. You see here, Stephen Mill just didn't straighten up. Still Cable. kicked it around on the curve, didn't yep. he? At time. Only playing his fourth game, he'll learn. Check. Takes the kick out from Rawlings. Who runs on. Just a possession game now for the Hawks. Smith gets the booze. He's on the half-back flank. Hawks led by 14 points at quarter time. Scores are now level. Very, very good so far, Joel. Smith. minutes left in the second term. He gets the hurry on from the umpire. Hugs the boundary line. Packer players, loose ball. Boundary throw in. I don't think he'd be upset, Joel Smith, with a few of those boos. He's had 10 possessions already, and he'd be figuring that the more they boo, the better he's playing. It's interesting that Luke McFarlane is off because he had 11 times in that first quarter. He did muck up just on the quarter time sign with a bad handball. But I'm surprised it has cost his spot on the ground. He's also had some injury problems, KB, so perhaps that's... Uh, maybe, also, yeah, right. maybe he is injured. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Hands and knees over the top of the ball. Gale's there as well. Boya has got a ball up. Still between the half forward flank and centre wing. 28 apiece. We see Clark sprinting off the ground for Choney to come on. Malcolm Blight barking the instructions. And the animated Sellers McClure with Ken Hinckley. Chance. Moyle. Weaved his way out of trouble. They'll try and set it up. Chance now. Begley pumps the ball deep into the forward line. Pachoni got an ugly bounce. Foss trying to keep the ball alive. Check. On the burst to Tony Woods. Now the runners. And it comes from Joel Smith into the centre square. In front, Barker. Strong hands. Hudson went hard. So did Gale. Hands and knees. Tries to keep the ball alive. Desperate play inside 50. Kicked off the ground. That came from Fraser Geary. Burke weaves his way out of trouble. Rockets a hand past the Stewie Lowe. He's got the run. Here it comes. Good chance. This is Begley. He's been a very impressive player. Goes short and finds Voss. They look, the good the center square. they look good, they've got their confidence up. Everett pulling for it long. Check runs hard to pick up Everett. Milne looks dangerous. The crummer. Hall's going to be the target. He's got him in his sights. Hay. The loose ball. Finds Harford. Good kick. Graham on the half-back flank. The centre wing, Barker, is always the target. Powell, it's been handy. Fraser Geary goes short, and the Saints set it up. Got Voss. Stuart Lowe says go, and Voss does. Oh, big ass! Oh! Taking a sensational mark. Plays it on. Shoots towards goal. Three to one. I couldn't believe that Brett.
Brad Boss actually kicked it to him. Graham's in front. You're right. Got Tallis on the side. McCabe at the back. He flew over the top. He wasn't satisfied with that. He played on, kicked the goal, and said, what about that, fellas? That is brilliant play, Stephen Mill. Boy. Welcome to the big time, Stevie Mill, in his fourth game. He's kicked his career seventh goal. And if that's what he can produce, then Saints fans will have a very happy Mother's Day. Out of the middle. The Hawks are going to do something here. The Saints are playing the better football at the moment. Crowe gets caught. Packett has him locked up. Blake's away. Gives the hand pass to Schwartz. They're looking mighty at the moment. Schwartz goes into the man of the minute. Mill up against McCabe. McCabe wants the boundary line. And McFarlane about to come back on, uh, boys. Uh, Sean Rink coming off, and uh, obviously Thompson in the ruck now. All of a sudden, you get the feeling they're a little shell-shocked, the Hawks. They're getting soundly beaten in the centre square. That's one of the problems for them at the moment. Saints have scored the last three goals. Thompson doing the ruck work from behind. Here he is again, Milne. McCabe takes him to the line. Throw it in again. Sean Wren having a spell, as Dipper said. Low, front spot, Thompson at the back, Dixon is there, it's the hand pass away, there's been a whistle, now the advantage, it was going to Hawthorne, the advantage is paid, Shane Crawford might have said, uh, what advantage was that? Tallis and Co combined to get it up towards Chick, he's on centre wing, he's got to beat a couple, eventually gives a little ground, Boya, that's poor, has given it away, but called to play on, gives it straight back to Thompson, he plays on too, Gets away from Hayes. Hayes sees it go wide to Crawford. Crawford can chip. The lead is on. Barker takes it in front of the eyes. Here there was some scrappy play in the middle of the ground. That was Shane Crawford's first kick for the night. He's had five hand passes, just the one kick, though. But finally, they've got it in the hands of someone who they, uh, they're pretty happy to see with the ball. That's John Barker. He'll kick from 50, but he's very good kicking from the right-hand side of goals. Shooting for his second and after kicking one in the first turn. And they need a steadier. Oh, he's hit the post. You're right, Sandy, they do need a steadier. They are in a, a little bit of trouble at the moment. The Saints have a bit of a run on. Their first score for the quarter. And we've got just on 11 minutes remaining. And their this last is... goal came at the 20 minute mark of the first quarter. Yeah, so it's been a while as Jason Blake, who's been pretty good too. Has it on half back. It's a good kick. Blake goes towards Hamill. Burke's waiting down and coming over the top and taking it by Marcus Rayton Tallis. Wants to go on with the job and does down a left half board. Dixon is there. Chipping Lynn to the board line once more. And the juggling mark taken by Crow. He needs to take his time, go back and kick the goal, Trent Crow. This is a pretty desperate one for the Hawks. They just need one to steady themselves. We see Glenn Bayer coming off after a, well, a probably an ordinary error in the middle of the ground that cost him a turnover earlier on and Matthew Dent coming back on. Crowed for his second. Mike Dixon kicked one in the first. Forty two metres out. Good looking kick. Lovely kick for goal. Certainly the one they needed. Hawks get their first goal of the quarter and it's certainly been going for some time their first goal since the 20 minute mark of the first quarter it was a good link from Dixon and he just hit Crowe with a perfect pass he took a couple of grabs at it but eventually got it more importantly for Hawthorne fans a very good kick from the pocket Five thirty-five. The Hawks. They lead by a point. Saints five four thirty-four. Two goals to Trent Crowe. Everett has been very good tonight. Really stepped up, acting captain, leadership role. Pushed out that time with Stewie Lowe. There's no free. Taken away by Joel Smith. Been pretty good across halfback. Finds a run of Tallis. Gets the wave on. Came from Clark in front. Lord closing quickly. That time was Gale. Chance for Blake, who's Farns Knowles, back to Gale, 
They combine across half back. The kick he was looking for Burke. It was well intercepted that time by Joel Smith. Crawford must have a sore foot. Won't kick the ball. Rawlings, poor option. He was looking for Clark. Crawford wants the free kick. Hamill, good hands, good touch. To Powell, I like his game tonight. Pumps the ball back. Barry Hall will make it a contest. Stewie Lowe's got to run onto the ball. Runs into the open oh. goal. And he has got it. Squeezed it in. Two goals to Stewie Lowe. I thought Stuart Lowe missed that when he kicked the ball. It looked like it came a little bit off the uh, the instep. He just snuck it in the far post. He did everything right. He read the play beautifully. He hit it at full pace. He picked it up clean as a whistle. See the long kick coming from Powell. Hay had front spot. But he didn't get anything on the ball. That was the problem. And look at the pickup. Beautiful. He has a check. Oh, snuck it in. Well done, Stewie. Five points the margin favouring the Saints. Lowe has two goals. Wren continues to receive a little treatment on the sidelines. Good contest, this one. Spider out of the middle for Choney. Gets caught. Gives it away towards Barker, who comes even wider now. They'll want the quick answer. The long kick from Graham goes down to half court. That's oh. an excellent grab. He's taken it away from McCall. Gee, Fraser Gehrig didn't even know it was his free kick. He was off, wasn't yeah. he? There was a look, there was a little push there. You could just see him push Gehrig out of the contest. That's probably not a bad decision from the umpire. Well, it might have been a bad decision, but it wasn't a very good kick. Barker uh, has taken over the line. It's one of those decisions where half the time you'll get away with it, and half the time you won't. And of course, you can check all the stats, injuries, and updates after this game on the i7 Sport website, i7sport.com.au. Barker and Everett again. But Taylor now is there. playing on low, and Jade Rawlings going up forward. Thank you, Dipper. The Hawks forward once more through Dent. Spent time on the bench, straight down the throat of Maxi Hudson. Garrick turned his back on it as he went back to Rawlings. It mattered not because Blake was there. Wider towards Peckett. Garrick screaming for it. He says, put it out in front of me right here, and he's got it. He'll go back now and swing onto that left foot. Low drops back. Garrick gives him time. Still unsure. Eventually goes short and finds Nathan Burke. Rides the Talus bump. And the wily little veteran... The former skipper who'll play his 300th game next week. Looks down towards Big Bad, Bustling and Co. Well, Barry's almost touching him. He's come that close. Was it the right option? Powell gives it back to Burke. Still in two minds. Going across the base of goal. This will be interesting. Hawks have the numbers. Graham has the hand pass. And away they go through Hay to the outer side. Chick is running and he's going. Dent is right there with him. Daniel Chick is away. Two bounces. He's got Hectares. Could have had another bounce. But elects to go in towards half for the safe hands of John Barker. He thought about turning round, but he said, no, I'll go back. And I'll have a set shot. 45 out directly in front. Great play from Daniel Chick. He just put the turbo boosters on the outer wing, but then he didn't run too far. He saw the good lead or the good space being made by Barker. And rather than have that extra bounce, which puts a lot of forwards out of position, he kicked it when he had to kick it. So very good play from Daniel Chick. Barker for his second. This two wrestling the lead back for the Hawks, and he's done it. Well, we've said it a number of times. He's been incredibly important for Hawthorne this year. John Barker, in the absence of Nick Holland, is really carrying the load at centre half forward and doing it particularly well. See a little bit of scrappy play. The kick coming very square from Nathan Burke. Plenty of Hawk numbers there. Dixon chips it over. And then have a look at Chick go. When he finds the ball, he just takes off and puts a space on him. And importantly, kicks it at the right time. Hawks by point six five forty one. The Saints 6-4-40. Malcolm Blythe looks on. The Hawks led by 14 points at quarter time. Two goals to Johnny Barker, two to Trent Crowe, and two to Stewie Lowe in his record-breaking game today. Chance for Knowles has been very handy. 
looking for Milne. It's been a real live wire. He's kicked a great goal tonight. A look away handball. Smith was under pressure. Did well. He did it Joel really Smith. Well. A great kick to Pachoni. Wonderful use of the ball, Pachoni. Between half back and centre wing. Tellus. Short to McCabe. Some run from half back. Clark mowed down that time by Noel. Stewie Lowe has come all the way from the centre half oh. forward. Couldn't intercept it, but the kick's a poor one. Half it. 45 metres out. Runs into the open goal. And hammers it home. Just came off the interchange yet. Bench there, boys. Straight into the action. I'll tell you what, Stuart Lowe would be real disappointed. And there's a little bit going on behind play. Hutchton and Barker just going at it. Stuart Lowe did, did a magnificent thing from way deep Big in chase. the forward line. He chased Luke McCabe. McCabe gave it, got it back. It's going to be a free kick. kick there. Hawthorne here. Play by Robert Powell. And, and now a free kick goal. is going to go to Hawthorne. Dixon. Well, that's Robert crazy. Powell has played a pretty good first half, but that is a black mark against him. They've worked so hard to get back into this game. They've taken the lead, and now they've turned it round. You watch this. This is silly play. This could be a two goal. So yeah. Dixon directly in front. 48 metres out. And that hurts the Saints. And told him about it. Two goals to Dixon. You just wonder when players will learn to keep their emotions in check. It, there's just absolutely no point in trying to be tough. And you can just see him coming straight off now. He'll get a blast from Malcolm Blight. Look, he has done very well, Robert Powell, tonight. He's been particularly good. He's had 11 possessions. But you just have to know when to bite your tongue. And you can just see he really throws the left arm out and catches Dixon right in the neck. And it cost him a goal. And as we speak, he's taking a call. And I wouldn't like to be on the end of that call either, Sandy. <laughs> With just under six minutes remaining, it could be pivotal in this game. Lenny Hayes gives it out to Burke. Good hands. And away they go. Back to Hayes. Baker. Also, Begley was in the little act as well. Graham. Little toe poke. Going to be OK. He was looking towards Tim Clark. Couldn't take it cleanly. Hay. Clear. Away. Talis is loose. Celebrate your 100th grade and go for it. Away from Lenny Hayes, but Lenny closes. He gets him, chucks him off. He's forced to centre the ball, and he does it well. Finding Thompson, 50 out, but he's no guarantee, is he? Shooting for goal, oh. you never know what he'll do. That slews off the side of the boot. Three or four flew. Dixon, dangerous, centering, but the only one home is Brett Niles. Just a comedy of errors, isn't it? I've Rang got play. play on. And I try to kick back to him. And he'll come back. Just got pushed as he kicked the ball, thank yeah. goodness, because that would have been uh, a rather nasty error, that one. 23 tomorrow is Brett Knowles. A lot of footy left for him, playing just his 34th game. He's had 12 possessions as well, so he's been in the thick of it. And he's given Peckett the chance. Peckett likewise gives Blake the opportunity. Wide towards low, too wide. From Jason Blake. And a throw in. Get used to it. Low again. Couldn't get a clean hand on it. Talis was at the back and he tumbles the punt towards Chick and Co. Chick had front spot, but Spider Everett was there. Huxton at the back, he gets caught. Great work by Chick. Rawlings is on it now. He gives it to Dixon. Excellent smatter. That was by Schwartz. Schwartz gets the hand pass away. We've seen some good footy here tonight. Begley involved in that clearance as well. Comes back to James Begley now. He steadies it down. Takes it from Gale. Gale gives it to Burke. He gives it back again on the outer side. Gale is still running. He came into the side as a late inclusion for Thompson. And he looks for Barry Hall. But he doesn't find him. The Hawks are going to come oh, away. Ugly kick. Chick may get the opportunity. He's got to beat a couple. Chick continues to go. He's now back in the middle. Steadies to half forward. He's cool in a crisis. Dixon on his own. Pachoni, clever. Dixon can stroll in the goal. He can amble in and kick the goal. He's missed it. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? 
be, you just wonder if he took it too easy. He took his time, he didn't rush it. Just stabbed at it. That's a big miss for the Hawks. Again, they've had plenty of play in the last five or ten minutes. They've opened up a bit of a break, but they just haven't made the most of it on the scoreboard, Hawthorne. And like it did early on in this quarter, it could come back to haunt them. And Robbie Powell about to come back on for the Saints. Hawks by 14 points. As Fraser Gehrig bombs the ball out, he's looking for Everett. Knowles didn't quite hit his target. Leckers. Kick was half smothered. Baker goes in hard. Burke. As the Saints are cross half back, Knowles Good sets kick. it up. And Barry Hall has got it. Hayes. It's a run from centre wing. Milne's in the goal square by himself. They just can't get the ball backtracking. Oh, oh, Barry Hall. Oh, 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 fantastic. <laughs> and young Clark has nailed him. David and Goliath. <laughs> Unbelievable. Clark. He's like trying to swat a fly away, Barry, wasn't he? To Dent. It's a big transfer. Hay coming down from fullback as well. He hasn't spotted him as Dent. Belts the ball long. Barker stands his ground. Touched the mark. Claims the, the mark. mark and he's got it. Call off, Powell on. Wren also warming up on the boundary line. Hudson. He's got the big job tonight on. Johnny Barker. Stewie Lowe out in front. Gets a shove out. Will take the free kick. Played a big game, Stuart Lowe. Had plenty of the ball. At 6.54, the Hawks, the Saints are 6.440. Four marks coming up for his 12th possession, Stuart Lowe. Remind at half time, speaking with Scott Palmer, who's got news of one of the biggest sports stories to break this year in Aussie rules football. Look forward to that. Stewie Lowe to the half forward line. Fraser Gehrig was clever play. I thought he was held and he's got a free kick. And some good umpiring tonight. Fraser Gehrig tried to find Peckett. It's a loose ball in the pocket. Hamill's going to close quickly, keeps the ball alive. Chance for the Saints. They need some numbers around the ball. Hamill wants a free kick. He'll get a ball up. Gee, Daniel Chick would be pretty happy that he didn't get pinged there because he had the opportunity to take the ball over the boundary line and didn't. They won't give up the Saints. They've been good. Their attitude's been good the way they're fighting. Wren getting ready to come back. He's only got the minute or so. Low needing someone going past. Peckett was there, so too was Burke. Hawks have the numbers. Crawford through heavy traffic. It had to be accurate, and it was. Very clever. Crowed on the end of it. He's at half back. Plays on now and transfers play into the middle. Angelo Lekas is lurking there. Lekas is away. Here comes Barker. With him is Hudson. Can't take it cleanly. Blake is there. Tidies up towards Gale. Gale steadies towards Begley. He's on the outer side, just forward of centre wing. Just got to get past Pachoni, and he does that. Hamill! The circle work wasn't it really. You start on this side of the wing, went across the ground, and uh, ends up with Hamill. James well, Begley's a good player, Jason. He has been in scintillating form tonight, James Begley. 16 possessions, that's the most on the ground. Mark Graham got caught in between two players then. He's playing on Aaron Hamill, but he saw Robert Powell go on the short lead. He then followed him. Didn't have much option. He had to take one or the other. And good disposal. Going long, finding the loose Hamill. Seven goals, eight so far this season. So you wouldn't put your entire bank on him, would you? Yeah, it's all right. That looks pretty good. Yeah, you're OK, Barry. It's home. Aaron Hamill has his first very handy one with only 17 seconds remaining in the quarter. You see the ball coming there from Gale to Begley, who's been in everything tonight. And he has two options. You could see Graham following Powell up there. He had to leave his man. That was Hamill. And a very good option from James Begley and a good kick from Hamill. A real good contest here at the moment. Back to an eight-point margin. Sean Rand back on, contesting with seconds only remaining. Time, though, for one side to kick a goal. Clark goes down towards the half-forward line for the Hawks. Wren was going past. He was almost held. Tallis may get an opportunity. Raiden Tallis, little left footer, is going to be good, and it is. Oh, and there's the siren. So Trent Crowe... 
will go back and shoot for goal after the siren to again stretch this to a 14-point lead. He's got two to his name, Trent Crowe. He kicked one from a tighter angle. Great work from Tallis. Just snuck the little left foot out. And there is nothing that coaches hate more than conceding goals in the dying seconds of a quarter. Crowe for his third. Looks good. Saints challenged, and the Hawks answer. Just about set to go in the second half. Dipper's done his roaming down there on the boundary line. What do you found, Dipper? Certainly not a microphone. <laughs> what is this man doing? He's mining. Hello, hello. There it is. Oh. We've got many microphones down here. Look, the only injury down here is Tony Delaney. He's got a uh, quad injury. He's out for the rest of the game. And, uh, and I'll catch up with you later on, boys. <laughs> <laughs> He's a genius. Sensational. Love it. Here we go, then. Second half. It was a 14-point lead to the Hawks at quarter time. 14 points at half time. Everett in the middle. Burke out of the centre for the Saints. A high ball up towards uh, the 301 gamer, Stewie Lowe. Over the head of Caden Beetham. They'd love the first couple here. The Saints have had their opportunities. Tallis playing his 100th game. He'd like to remember that too. Graham, soccer's off the ground, straight down the throat of Burke. Burke looks back towards half court. There's a wall of Brown and goal, and Lekas is the man in the middle. Gee, a great opportunity for the Saints lost then. They had loose players, just a poor kick coming in. He was asking well, Milne to take on three again. And already, Sandy, worried about James Begley's impact. The Hawks have put Daniel Chick onto him. Well, he did have a very good first half. He was a prolific possession winner. So that will be interesting to see as Barco is taken to the line. And one guy in front of goal who hasn't been uh, too accurate tonight at Thompson is starting on the bench in this third quarter. Pachoni also spending a fair bit of time on the bench. Good young player. At the back, uh, Hayes, clean bold. Knowles does the shepherd It comes out at the Gale. He got his chance at the expense of Thompson. He's uh, made a big ask for Stuart Lowe. Came off, off the knee. Yeah. Of McFarlane. Hence the throw in. Boys on the bench, as Dipper said. Delaney with that slight quad problem. Having a spell. Low jostling with Ren Hamill. You're gone, Aaron. Thrown over the line with the ball. But Sandy, it's interesting when you look at some of the stats. One player on each side. Shane Crawford for the Hawks. One kick, seven hand passes. And Lenny Hayes for the Saints. One kick and nine hand passes. Just like getting in, using quick hands and not yep. kicking the ball. Yep. Well, they're lurking around the packs, aren't they? And uh, that's where they're going to come out, like here, with Burke. Goes over the top to Powell. Powell, 65 out. Here's a chance for the Saints. Wren dropping back. Milne couldn't get a clean look at it. Hay and Lekas defending to the outer side. The race is on. Moyle is there. Lekas is there. So to the boundary line. Throw in on the other side. I think Sean Wren looked like he lost the lights when the power kick came in. He was doing pirouettes underneath it and didn't get anywhere near it. Throw in on the outer side. 9 6 60 the Hawks. The Saints 7 4 46. And Joel Smith comes away. Chips it short. Looks for Crawford. Tried to paddle the ball long in front. Everett did well. Big bad bustling. Oh. Barry Hall is caught. Trying to do too much. Check run down by Powell. Good enough to get his kick away. Dixon rockets the ball. The run comes from Tallis out in front. There's Rawlings. Crow, who's quick, super quick. Maybe lost sight of the ball with Gale coming across in front. It's good play. Begley, it's been very handy. Fraser Geary stood his ground. The handball was poor. Swartz needs a kind bounce, gets one. Now needs support. Powell was ripped off in that second term after giving away a silly free kick. McFarlane on the charge. 11 possessions in that first quarter. Kick. Pumps the ball back and finds Dixon. The 55 metres out and a loose player is Crow. He'll take an easy mark. And he'll be shooting from 35 metres out. He just got lost, Fraser Garrick. He followed him up and uh, there was a contest over the other flank. And Trent Crow, who's already kicked three, lines up for his fourth. Just took off after the first contest, straight to the other side. When the ball got squared up there, he was on his own. He's booted three goals, one in the first quarter, two came in the second term. Exciting player, Trent Crowe. One of the best young players in the competition. 
Looks like he's going to be a superstar for the Hawks. Going for goal number four. And this to increase the lead. Missed it. He's pushed it left. They lead by 15 points. So the Hawks are 9-7. Saints 7-4. Powell. Uh, this could be dangerous because Chick has taken the mark and he plays on quickly to Lekas. Angelo from centre wing. Spears a pass in the, uh, the half forward line. Woods was the target. He's going to have to give it back towards Law. Oh. He's taken high by Spider. And the umpire lets it go. Well, I wonder if he's suggesting that Aaron Law ducked. He may have just Could tucked have. the head in a little bit. And if that's the case, I don't, I don't mind the play on call when the player ducks, Andy. I think that's no. a good umpire. Good point. 61 plays 46. The Hawks lead. Wren and Everett. The Hawks trying to keep their unbeaten run going. Knowles. Short to Packer. In the middle of Colonial. And it looks pretty good too. Packer. Trying to get round the man on the mark. Shepherding by Beetham eventually allows him to do just that. Sneaks away from Harper. Goes wide towards Hall. He's got to beat a couple, including the line. Can't do so. Hay and Graham right on his hammer. And then another throw in. Sellers McClure on the right. Malcolm Blight in the middle. Ken Hinckley on the left. Wren. Big man works hard. Finishes with Talis. Round the body he goes. He joins the Century Club tonight, does Raiden Tallis. It's a very good effort. The packet hand pass. Interesting, to say the least. Garrick wanted a free kick, didn't get it. It was a good tackle. And Lekas picks himself up. Heads out. And by Michael Vozzo making that decision. Everett beaten. High and wide. Peckett may get a chance to bring it back. 15 points the margin. A lot of the Saints mums there getting ready for Mother's Day tomorrow. They'd like the four points first. Into half forward. All low went early and over the top of the lot. Well, he's got the kick. He must have oh, been pushed into it. I yeah. think the umpire saying that Luke McFarlane pushed him into it. He gives it off quickly to Powell. Powell, it's a one-out duel here with Hay and Baza. Over the back it goes, and a throw it in the left forward pocket. Well, we'd like to see that again. Let's have a look. Oh, it didn't look to be a lot in it, did there? No. Got a little bit of assistance, but, gee, not a lot. Low and ran again. Low with the left hand. Couldn't get a touch. Crawford, little tap towards Smith. He was shoved in the back when he knew that he heard. And he'll take the free kick in the back pocket. Joel Smith has had a lot of the ball tonight, finds oh, yeah. Lord. They'll just share it around across half back. Dixon works hard up from the forward pocket. Good strong play that time by Blake. Forces the ball back over the line for a toss back in. Joel Smith, 17 possessions tonight and five marks. Hawks by 15 points. They're led by 14 points at quarter time and 14 points at half time. Everett. Skipper tonight, Blake. Tied up that time by Dixon. Beatham. Clever oh. player. It was a look away kick. <laughs> it's been marked by Begley. Now he's been a star tonight. I know Tim Watson had a big rap on James Begley. Just the last 10 or 12 games with a shoulder injury last year, but he's strutting his stuff tonight. Gale pumps yeah. the ball down. Barry Hall's got it. Beautiful pass from Mark Gale. Said good penetration on it. He didn't chip the ball. He really drove it in low. Well, he's yeah, always think, a good kick with the Dockers, wasn't he? I think he's a bit harshly treated here, Barry Hall. He might have marked that a couple of metres further inside the 50. But he's going to have to kick from just outside the 15-metre ring. Kick the goal in the second quarter. Barry Hall from 52 metres. Going right to the line. Through for a behind. He's got plenty of presence for the Saints on the forward line, as we see Boya doing a bit of stretching on the boundary line. And Joel Smith to bring the ball back into play. 9-7-61, the Hawks. The Saints, 7-5-47. Finds Harford. Still inside the defensive 50. Lord wants it short. 
took it on the half volley. Stewie Lowe closed quickly. Smith, the run again from half back, sets it up magnificently. Finds Clark who can run with the ball, but here comes Corrode. He's so quick, Jason. He's explosive. He's a bit like the yourself. He, uh, he is blessed with a lot more athleticism than I ever had. Don't worry about that, KB. This bloke is explosive off the mark. He's just learning how to harness it all and how to use it to the best of his advantage. You can just see the big leap and chest mark there. Distance won't trouble him. It all comes down to accuracy. Trent Crowe. From right on 50. It's the post. Three goals, three to Trent Crowe tonight. Two behinds coming in this third term. Missed a lot of set shots, the Hawks. I mean, that wasn't an easy kick, but they have missed probably five or six they would expect to kick, and it's really hurting them. Hamill's come a long way down for this ball. He wants it. He's going to have to go to the top of his teammate, Everett. The man in the middle of them both was Wren. The intentions were good from Aaron Hamill. It was just the execution, unfortunately. Yep. yep. Short to Chick. He's still just outside the 50. Scoring not easy in this third quarter. See nearly every player on the ground in there. It's amazing that he still found a loose player in Sean Wren because yeah. there's uh, 34 of the 36 players were actually in the attacking 50 metre arc then. Double Ooh. change here, boys. Uh, Harford and Chick off. Pachoni and Boya. Moon and McCabe, the only two out of this half of the ground. Wren going for a bit of extra, pulls it away to the left and it's smashed over defensively from behind. No goals as yet in this quarter. Delaney with that problem in the second half. Oh, oh here's trouble. Here's real trouble. It's going to be uh, advantage paid to St Kilda because the tackle actually was a little high. Lowe takes uh, the diving mark, but then Hay intercepts. It could prove costly. Crawford doesn't like to kick a lot tonight, but finds Crow. He's kicked three goals, three. I reckon he's kicked those three behinds from this region. Yep. So and again, he's taken ten marks now, and that was a great example of his athleticism because the ball actually took a while to get there. Have a look at the vertical leap on him. Remember when uh, the reports came back from the uh, the camp that they used to do? He had the best vertical leap. He just hung up there and took a good strong mark. This for the first goal of the quarter with his tenth kick, Trent Crow from 51 metres. Good looking kick. Good this distance. time across the face though. Three goals, four. They've had their opportunities. Nine, ten. They could have buried them. Gee, that's a good leap, isn't it? Just hanging up there. He's a big fellow, too. Powell comes to Gale. He'll again look wide towards Hamill, maybe, who wants it on centre wing. Schwartz is also lurking, and he opts for the latter. Begley short. Setting it up now. Gale's away. Hall. A long way from home. As he goes on, Wren goes off the ground. Oh, out the back door goes Moyle. Milne couldn't take the mark. Burke waiting down. Lowe is there as well. Burke picks it up now. Lovely little fade. Burke goes for goal and kicks it. Back up the Saints. Burke gets his second. St Kilda break the ice and they close in again. Well, he's been quite brilliant tonight, Nathan Burke. 19 possessions and two goals. Have a look at the little dummy that he gives here. He picks it up as I'm going to do something, and Jonathan Hay buys it, and then he's off to the races, runs into an open goal, and definitely one of the best men on the ground at this stage, Nathan Burke, really leading from the front for the Saints. The Saints drag it back to 11 points. 9-10-64 the Hawks, there's Chick still warming up on the boundary line, 8-5-53 the Saints. Thompson in the ruck, Everett comes charging in, got his hands on the ball looking for Moyle, Hamill through the centre square on the charge, finds Begley, what a game he's played, Begley. Front edge of the centre square, penetrating kick, Stewie Lowe's in front, he's got it! 
big and strong. Playing in front of McFarlane. And a record-breaking game for the Saints, 301. And Stewie Lowe has strutted his stuff tonight. He's well, taken six marks see. and had 14 possessions, and he's booted two goals. He's right with him there, Luke McFarlane, but I think the two adjectives you used were very simple ones and very effective ones, KB. Big and strong. He was too big and strong for Jade Rawlings in the first half. Luke McFarlane now has the big job of trying to quell Stuart Lowe. This to get the Saints within five points. Stewie Lowe, 35 metres out, take a bow. Three goals to Stewie Lowe. He's played a fair sort of game as well. 17 possessions, or 15 possessions and six marks to Stuart Lowe. And James Begley, well, he's just having a huge impact on the game tonight. Getting it down there quickly, and that's all the forward can ask. Is the ball being kicked to his advantage in a one-on-one -on -one contest? And players like Stuart Lowe don't let you down very often. There's James Begley, has uh, 20 possessions to his name. But St Kilda did this in the second quarter. They charged out of the blocks with three quick goals. And the uh, change has been made again, Sandy. Rawlings has gone back onto Lowe. It was Everett who got it out to Peckett. Here they go again towards Lowe. Did he cop a shove? No, said the umpire. And the ball sails over the top of Lowe and Rawlings. A throw in the left forward pocket. Saints supporters giving their team every assistance. We've got a throw in in the left forward pocket. They're in attack. And they're down by just five points. Low trying to palm it down. Graham couldn't take it away. Smith is lurking. Low does get it out. Doesn't go very far. Bounces back into the pack once again. Knowles taps it even wider field. Moyle, maybe the opportunity there for Beetham, not so. The Woods hand pass, a little proppy. Smith gets caught, goes wide. They want a bit of space. They want the boundary line. He'll be pinged. He is pinged. I thought that was smothered out of his hands. I think that's a stiff decision. He's trying to handball that down the line as he's tackled. Maybe it slides off the outside, but... Beat them played on. Saints fans are claiming a handle mark. Hawk fans and the umpire claiming a bowyer mark. And he's got it at half back. It comes wide to Thompson. Hawks are needing a steadier here. The Saints have got the run at the moment. Thompson heads to the outer side and Pachoni. Up towards Graham on centre wing. Oh, came off second best in that clash. And away they dash. Barry Hall! 55 out. Burks in the square. Milner's there as well. Low, low. Burke in front. Pachoni's on him. This is good, tight, hard stuff. Milner's lurking. And there will be a bounce. Gee, an opportunity lost for the Saints. It looked like Stuart Lowe got a good grab on it. That supporter certainly wanted it paid. <laughs> but the, the kick probably should have gone further across the face of goal. That's because a clean mark. Two. That's, That's a, a mark. clean mark. That's a mark. loose players everywhere. Clean mark to Stuart Lowe. It was knocked out of his hands. He had good perches on the ball. No, right. I wonder that supporter was having something to say. Thompson trying to go over the top of Lowe. Smith. Clever hands. Graham. Tumbling a puck. They're not out of this yet because Barry Hall and Carl are still lurking. Look at this. From 46 metres, Moyle. Moyle has kicked the goal. Moyle gets his first. The Saints lead. There's just a lot to like about the way St Kilda approached the game tonight. At different stages of the game, it's looked like the Hawks have had enough ball to put them away. But they just keep coming. And Brett Moyle finishing off some good work there. They've got numbers around the ball at the moment. Confidence flying high. A real chance, the Saints, to upset the Hawks. Shane Crawford, the skipper, has been benched. Just the nine possessions, KB. The Saints lead by a point, 10-5-65. The Hawks, 9-10-64. Are we looking at the Hawks' unbeaten run coming to an end as Burke charges out of the centre square. He's looking for Milne. James Begley. He's been magnificent tonight, across to Gale, runs to 50, Stewie Lowe should mark, backing back, good play by Hay, he's been pulled off the ball, there was no free kick. Rawlings, 
stands and delivers. The Saints can keep it alive. Milne, clever kick, Begley. Oh. They could have rattled it. Moyle, quick hands, back to Gale. Concedes ground to Knowles, to Begley. Runs the 50, the young gun. Into the pocket, in the square, off the hands. Punched through by Tallis. Through from behind, the Saints by two points. Gee, the thing that sticks out at the moment is the numbers that the Saints Beacon did well. The ball. And Beetham did well in pumping that in. A handful of jumper there, but no, oh, no. They both, they both had a handful. Yeah. Looked like a free kick to Hay, didn't it? The Saints, they're inspired. Hamill. Loose player set up. He finds Gale. Swartz wants it inside the centre square. It's been ignored. Everett wants it in front. No takers. Short to Hay. Lenny Hayes has got it on the edge of the centre square. It's keeping's off. Gale. Penetrating kick. Barry Hall. He's got it. Shoved him out and he's got it. Ooh. Look at McCabe. He's indicating he got a shove in the back. I thought the shove was there. Thompson's the one that was in front. He's he got away with it. Jumping back. But having said that, it's a great result for St Kilda. Barry Hall's done well. He got rid of Thompson. There's the shove. Push. Oh, look. He was just holding his ground. I'm happy with that. That's a very good mark to beat two, two tall defenders when you're out number two to one. Barry Hall, tight pocket. Saints in front by eight points. Two goals to Barry Hall. And it took them a while, they chipped it around. It was a real possession game. And in the end, Gale had to kick long. The odds favoured the Hawks, but Barry Hall did the job for the Saints. With a beautiful kick from a tight angle in the pocket. The Saints' brains trust. Eight points they lead by. This is a good game of footy. This is what we love to see. Burke gets flattened from behind. Doesn't get a free kick, lured in over the top. They pounce upon one another, and he's blocked it. Gee. Well, you would have had to have been Ronnie Beach to have got out of that. <laughs> or Houdini, they're about the only two, Sandy. Oh. Lord, however. Hawthorne desperate for a steadying goal. Graham may have the answer. He looks down towards Thompson. Who marks in the pocket. A lot of players telling him to settle, go back and try and kick the goal. Warnie coming off, boys, and Johnny Barker's about to come on for the Hawks. Just overcommitted himself, Moyle. That was the problem. If you can't get there, you've got to make sure you can pull up and hold the man up. So the Hawks looking for their tenth goal. Courtesy of Thompson. Not getting it. Three points for the night, Nathan Thompson. 9-11 plays 11-6 and uh, looks a bit worried, Peter Schwab, Peter doesn't Schwab. he? <laughs> Gaia. He's done pretty well. He came in for Thompson. Pops it over the top to Powell. He's in trouble. Gives it away to Hayes. Just to Burke. Now they're away. Knowles. Finally they get clear. Up over the centre. Beetham won't fly. Hamill will. He couldn't take it cleanly. Socket clear. Beetham will go again. Tallis on his hammer. They give chase. Clark there too. Beetham picks it up. Trying to get the hand pass away. There was no one there. The Barker hand pass, okay. They're out of trouble. Back towards Chick. He's still at half back. There's some desperation about this Hawthorne outfit now. Dixon has it. Putting them inside 50. In front was Hudson. Got a hand to it. At the back is Crow. Croppy hand pass back to Dixon. Oh! Where's he gone there? Straight to Milne. Milne gets caught. Gets rid of it. He wanted Hudson, but intercepting was Crow. Gives it back towards Chick, still outside 50. Now he's inside, 40 out. Tries to bend it back. Oh, yes! What a goal! Daniel Chick kicks his burst. And again, we've got a one-point ball game. Well, I just run out of superlatives trying to describe Daniel Chick. He's the sort of player that every coach would love to have three of in his team. 
He's always in there trying, working hard. He does the team orientated things. And this time, after the handball from Crow, he just he backs himself. There's a bounce. There's not much on, so he backs himself on the left boot. That's a team lifter for the Hawks. McPhail has now pushed back on uh, Aaron Hamill. And Mark Graham now moving down forward. Terrific goal there by Chick there. Two and a half minutes left in this third quarter. 11 6 72. The Saints by a point. 10 11 71. The Hawks. Tallis. Can the Hawks answer the challenge? The gauntlet's been thrown down. Can they pick it up? Half it. To the edge of the centre square. Thompson, great mark. On the burst to Tallis. Game number 100. Oh. That's the backtrack. Conceded ground. Sets it up. Bucker. Clever play, Tallis. Very clever play. Didn't panic. He wanted to run in and have the shot on the run, but in the end, the St Kilda defenders got there to put the pressure on. He stepped inside a couple, he had a look, his vision was good, and he just chipped it over to Barker. Very good play, Raiden Tallis, in his 100th goal. An under 100th game, sorry, an underrated player. Always trying to do the right things, as we see Dixon having a spell and Crawford coming on. Well, Johnny Barker's just come onto the ground. A bit of two goals in the first half, one in the first quarter, one in the second. This is an important one, because it will put... The Hawks in front by five points. He leans back, unloads. Hit the post. He's hit the post. It's a poor kick off the boot. Didn't quite spin as uh, well as he would have liked. He's had two posters tonight to Johnny Barker. One in the second term, Geary. To bring the ball back into play. Scores a level, 72 apiece. Lenny Hayes wants it short. Geary takes the long option. Oh. Shove out to Everett. He'll take the free kick. It's been good tonight, Peter Everett. He's really put in, he's put himself on the line. Great kick, Stewie Lowe. Second grab, not there. Beatham. Gets the run. Down from half back. It's Gale. He's going to get support from Begley. Oh, Has to change oh. directions. It's a shocking kick. Been taken by Thompson. Great smother by Everett. Maybe a chance. Take two for the Saints. Blake attacked the ball hard. Not as hard as Tallis. Leg us through the centre square. Big kick. This is a big play. Backing back for the Saints. Johnny Barker's going to kick a goal. Hawks in front. Jeez. Tell you what. Three goals to Johnny Barker. There are two things I'm really looking forward to having a, a second look at when we look at the replay. The mistakes made by this and kill the defenders. They both had, seemed to have the ball covered. And then I want to have a look at the Barker kick because I reckon he's nearly missed from point-blank range. Almost hit the umpire. You can see Tallis was good and Lekas in support. There's the long kick. Now the two St Kilda defenders, oh. they spoil each other. Now have a look at the kick from Barker. Gee, that's a mongrel off the boot, isn't it? He wouldn't want to have been another yard out. It could have been in real, the real strike. Again, the Hawks steady. There's Gary Buccanara on the left. War number 11. What a dashing half forward he was. Gee, they're getting killed in the centre square here. They beat them again out of the middle. Time for the Saints. A Rawlings gave a push. Said the umpire. And Stuart Lowe. Well, this could be the last kick of the quarter. Aaron Hamill now, boys, been pushed down the back line on Johnny Barker. Max Hutchinson coming off. Low from 50. Hawk fans not happy. He'll struggle with the distance and struggle with the accuracy. Just the one behind. Well, one thing's for certain, they've set it up for a thrilling last quarter. As Jason was saying, St Gilda have ripped them apart out of the middle of the centre breaks. Totally dominating. Thompson. Max on the side. Well, well, well. It was a 14-point margin to Hawthorne at quarter time. It was a 14-point margin at half time. St Kilda, as they've done in the second quarter, hit back hard. Actually got their noses in front before Hawthorne steadied with a couple of telling goals especially from John Barker late. And they have regained the lead. But uh, what a thrilling final term this should be. There's young Begley, one of the most prolific possession winners 
in the game so far. Peter Schwab has plenty to think about, doesn't he? Hawthorne leads 11-12, the Saints 11-7. Down to the boundary and Dipper, I think we're going to be in for a big finish. Well, we hope so, uh, Stan. Well, it's a terrific game and you've just got to give credit to some killer young players. They've just thrown everything. They're running at the ball and using their skill level tonight has just been fantastic. Well, Swabby did ask for a special effort in the, uh, in the middle, as uh, Jason said. Hawthorne and Absolute getting crucified in the middle, so uh, we expect Sean Wren to take that role. Thank you, Dipper. Here we go. Final quarter. It's the Hawks by five points. Wren up against Everett. Spider has been good tonight. Chick tried to soccer it out of the middle. Angelo Lekas has a chance to defend, and he does. Wide to the outer side. Harford and Crawford need a kind bounce. Neither gets it. Crawford will go again. The Saints try and lock it up. The cry of ball. As the umpire comes in and takes charge. Umpire John Harvey on this occasion, wearing 25. First goal, absolutely crucial. Interesting to see Aaron Hamill's gone into defence, picking up Johnny Barker. Soccer clear. A chance, maybe. Burke comes over the top, almost a high tackle. Gee, did well, Burke. Then he had to try and beat a couple. Gale gets caught, not before he got the hand pass away. Schwarz under the pressure too, takes it to the outer side. Begley is there also. What a game he has had. Everett lurking. Still going. And taken to ground is Jason Blake. Another ball up. Aaron Lord. And Hawthorne bench, including Piccioni at the back there. The big men squabbling. Wren and Everett do battle. Everett slaps it, but Bowie, if he can keep it in play, but he can't. The other change to the Hawks, Mark Graham's gone forward. He's operating out of the square with uh, John Barker. And Fraser Gerrick's picking him up. Tony Delaney picked up an injury early on in the match. He spent a lot of time on the bench. Tallis playing his 100th. Chick tries to just poke it down. Bowyer, a hurry kick of sorts. Burke, a high spoil. Harford also up with a fist towards the line. Dixon goes crashing towards the boundary too. This is kept in play. He lost out, and the Saints could be winners here. Hayes goes bursting through the half forward line, gets clear of Chick. They want a Barry Hall mark. They don't get it. Out the back is the little live wire Milne. He wants a free kick. He doesn't get it as the ball breaks clear and goes over the line. Let's have a throw in, KB. Hawks by five points. That young man on screen, Milne, took a terrific mark and kicked a great goal early in the game. It was team lifting stuff for the Saints. Check. Was they kicked a great goal late in that third term. Under pressure that time was Rawlings taken by Hay. Concedes yeah. ground, retreats and then bangs the ball wide. Oh, this is a great geez. kick. Squeezed right up on the line it was Boyer. <laughs> oh, shall we say it? Centimetre perfect. Oh, oh, so. oh. Thanks, Dennis. Not much no. up ahead. Very stagnant. Boyer. In the back pocket, you can see there, outside the playing area, kicks a high ball. Oh. So this is one for the high flyers. I fancy Everett from behind, got his hands on the ball. They'll need a crummer. Baker, worked hard to the front of the pack. They've got a ball up. Just outside of 50, the Saints 73, the Hawks 78. Graham on screen. Wren. Some pushing and shoving that time with Stewie Lowe. He's booted three goals. Lekas just weaved his way out of trouble. Pushed off the ball. Harford going in hard was Baker. Still it's loose. Crow with strength and speed. To Clark, to Tony Woods, through the centre square. Chance now for Crawford. He was benching that third term. Got the bounce he wanted. He's got to get around Peckett. It's a bad oh. kick. Been taken by Schwartz at half back. Three games last year. This young man still making his way in the game. Fraser Geary. Can he set it up for the Saints? Spears the kick in to Milne. Couldn't take it. Stewie Lowe has to be desperate. Smith's been very good tonight for the Hawks. Lekas. Back edge of the centre square. Loose player. Fraser Geary's got to make ground. 
Dangerous play here for the Saints. Graham pushing and shoving. Geerick does well. Just worried him out of it. And that man, James Begley, again cleans up. Gives it to Gale. He looks towards Burke on the outer wing and he marks in front of Boyard. His foot skills are brilliant, Mark Gale. Here's Everett. Peckett's making a move. Peckett drifts in towards the pocket and takes the mark. Hall is down there in the square, so too is Lowe, and so too is the pocket dynamo in Stevie Milne. Lowe's a target. They surround him. He was almost gang-tackled in the air. Had absolutely no chance. Here he is again! Stevie Milne away to the right, one behind. That's a let off. I think Jonathan Hay made a mistake there. When the St Kilda player had the ball, he just lifted up the jumper to show he was held and then put the hand up for the free kick. That allowed St Kilda to uh, dish the ball out back in the shot for goal. You've really got to lock the ball in on that occasion. Four points the margin. Jade Rawlings looks down the field and says, well, we go. Four for coming off, boys. Yeah, he might have just paid for that errant kick down into the forward line a moment ago that landed with Gerrick. Lekas in the pocket. See, the mist is starting to settle in here too as well. He's waiting for Sean Wren to come across, I think. He's there now. At the back is Pachoni. A little bit of aerial ping-pong going on there. Crowed, well smothered by Hamill. Keeping it in the area. He's trying to slip the handball down the line, but Aaron Hamill doing those one percenters. Low with strength. On to the left foot. Down towards a half four. Well done, Baker. Moyle twists into trouble. Could have been pinged. And he is. The advantage is paid. He's run 30 metres. He might go all the way. Throw it over the top to Graham. If it sits, he can have a shot. It won't quite sit. Clark tries to poke the ball through. Almost succeeds. Schwartz gets caught. Gets the hand pass away. Baker's on the end of it. He gives it away now. In all sorts of bother on the Saints through Powell, but he gets clear eventually. Over the centre he goes. And now they can steady through the acting captain and spider effort. Got to go long to Stuart Lowe. He does go long. His target is low. Rawlings at the back sees it over the line. So oh. Kilda Club doctor's been at to Begley a few times now. Just keep an eye on him. Now how far has Trent Crowd run? He's tucked it under the arm and gone <laughs> hard for 10 or 15 paces and a good 25 metres. <laughs> low has interfered. And given away the free kick. Went over the shoulder on that occasion. So Wren. Begley's in trouble, boys. He can't run. Begley's in trouble. Well, he's done enough running tonight almost. Oh, Joel. Not what he had in mind. He's coming off the ground now. Boss is coming back on. He's been tremendous, James Begley. What are his stats, Jason? He Begley. has had 24 touches and seven marks. Excellent stuff. There's Powell. Goes towards the 50, low, just trying to swipe it down, but Chick is there to defend, and defend he does, off to McCabe. McCabe can rip through the centre now. Away goes Luke, up to the half-forward line, the lead is on from Barker, and he takes it in front of the eyes. Suddenly it's the Hawks streaming down the ground. Pachoni, Lekas, Crowd, they're all there. No mark, Pachoni can't get another crack at it. He'll go again, however. So too will Hamill. It's smothered by Crowd and locked up in the area. A throw in in the right forward pocket. Boy. No goals so far this quarter. Just very, very tight. Ricochet away from Woods and it comes back to him. He snaps. Still KB. No goals. It's just a real struggle in arm wrestle at the moment. There's nothing pretty about the way the first eight and a half minutes of this final quarter has gone, but it's good pressure football. Powell to bring the ball back into play. 11-13-79, the Hawks, the Saints, 11-8-74. Clark, a young man on a mission. Outside of 60. It was a look away handball. <laughs> Needed support. Lenny Hayes just paddles the ball along, being pinched by Leggers. Good tackle by Niles. Wren had it and lost it. Knowles pitches it from half back. It could open up for the Saints. Moyle to the run of Knowles. Goes short. Finds Barry Hall. He's a long, long way out from goal. He's on centre wing. He finds the run of Gale, who's been using it well. Fraser Geerig, he won't see half it. Breaks away just with superior pace. 
bangs it down, Milne out of position, been taken by Boya. Mark Graham off, Alan Lord on. Some good signs for the Saints. They look inspired. Short, Piccioni, Moyle, from outside of 50, danger now for the Hawks. Stewie Lowe's the target, he's got him in his sights. Boss to Burke, he's booted two goals, can't swing it back. And a bounds on the full. Just didn't catch the right part of the ball, Nathan Burke, trying to screw it over the shoulder. Woods coming off, and Thompson on. 23 possessions to Nathan Burke. He's booted two goals. Joel Smith, it's been good tonight. Finds Hay. To set a wing, Tallis. He's played a terrific game he tonight. Very, very Tallis good. has been one of the Hawks' best. Celebrating. Ran off, Thompson on, and Crawford on for Woods. the game. Thanks, Dip. Sean Renz off, looks very, very tired. As Thompson comes on, Hawks are ringing the changes. Harford, still on centre wing. A lead by five points. 11 and a half minutes left in this final quarter. And Johnny Barker, too far out to score. The lead is on from Dixon. Got him. He's on 50. Take a mammoth kick from there. Thompson wants it short. Now he'll get back to the goal square. He's a thumping kick, though, Jason. He is. He is. He's one of the few players that would go very close from just outside 50. Would take something exceptional. And the theory is the ball does carry a lot further when the roof is shut. Dixon unloads. Distance is there. Not the accuracy. Just as he's often the case when you're probably right on the uh, the margin for as far as your, your distance is concerned. You do tend to hook the ball. Gale was off now has to go back to Hamill and turn back to Gale, Moyle does the shepherd Hall a long way out, couldn't take it on the half volley, pressured all the way by Jade Rawlings, he's been terrific Garth on the St Kilda boys tonight, he has since coming on Dippy, you're spot on there another big crowd Sandy, 37,940 yeah, wow. good to see good to see nothing like a good old fashioned stoush between two home sides Thompson tried to go through strongly for the Hawks. Spider Everett got it out to Burke. Burke off to Moyle. Moyle wanted to get round onto that left foot, and in so doing, he loses it. Boyer gets caught, not before he gets it away. It's tough and it's hard in there as Garrett gives it out now to Powell. Powell looks across the centre, swings towards Great Hall. Pass. Good mark, lovely kick. Hall wants to get on with it. Just get it down to Stuart Lowe, one out as quick as you can. That's what they've got to he do. He does go short to Baker. Baker gives it off to Powell. Powell may try and go all the way here from 48 metres. He shoots the wall. It's goal! What a thing that one does now! The Saints draw level. Well, the game has been crying out for a goal. It took a while to come. They just worked it forward pretty carefully. See the hand pass there coming out from Stephen Baker. And Powell just a little sidestep, gets around Nathan Thompson, who was coming across in cover. Sits the ball up and just floats it through from 50. Scores a level, just under 10 minutes left. The tension in the Hawks coaching box. Good play by Robert Powell. He's had a good game, just that one indiscretion. Came before half time and he gave away a silly free kick. The Saints now inspired. Moyle pumps the ball back towards the half forward line. Knowles and Milne. They share it around, trying to keep the ball alive. He's paid a free kick. He has paid a free kick. Milne. Milne loves to take him on. He's caught. Dropping it. He's gone. He's trying to do a bit too much. But I like a player taking on the opposition. McCabe. He uh, tried to do what he did to Sean Wren earlier in the game. Too McCabe close does to enough. End. He gets the jumper, and as he drops the ball there, good decision by the umpire. McKay from half back. Hamill on the stretch. Couldn't take it. KB, just on the interchange side of things, Hawthorne have made 28 changes compared to St Kilda's 10. Well, certainly they've had a number of stars on the bench tonight. Johnny Barker's been on the bench, Sean Wren, Shane Crawford's been there. Pachoni's been in great form lately, and Boya all been sitting on the interchange bench. Look at Burke. Burrows in. Powell was a quick kick. Forces the ball forward. It was backhanded. No one in particular going to ground was Lenny Hayes. Picked up by Gale. Back to Burke. Thumps the ball inside 50. Stewie Lowe. Second grab. Couldn't take it. Milne. 
crunched into the ground by Joel Smith. It'll be a baller. 45 metres out. Great right tackle. Fantastic tackle. Stewie Lowe just couldn't take on the second grab. And a good decision. A ball up. 45 metres out. 12-8 the Saints. 11-14 the Hawks. Scores a level. 80 points apiece. Beatham thought he had it and lost it. Loose ball. Burke slaps it on. Pinched by Chick on the rebound. This could hurt the Saints. Chick loves to set it up. Crowed. He's got a touch of the fumbles. Taken by Peckett on the burst. The Saints inside 50. Peckett, big catch. He's kicked the goal. Saints in front. Well, they just overused the ball, Hawthorne. They are trying to set something up, and they made a simple error. Chick was looking to draw a player to him so he could handball over the top or to the side. In the end, he handballed to Crowd, who was running towards him, and Crowd's hands let him down. And Justin Peckett punished them in the best possible way. He had a bounce, he steadied, unloaded from 50, and away go the Saints. Justin Peckett's playing his 157th game, and he's just kicked his 21st career goal. What a memorable one, though. It's put the Saints in front. Still plenty of time for either side. Out of the middle, Crawford had it, then lost it. Everett tried a little toe poke. Hayes is caught at the bottom of the pack. Gale has been very good. Peckett is the goal kicker. Gives it back to Spider. He looks down to the half forward line. Milne and Coa there, but charging out is Hay, and he takes it strongly. Hawthorne now defending grimly. McCabe goes to the outer side. They're playing catch up footy, and they haven't done that this season. When they've led at three-quarter time, they've gone on and won the game. And that's been every match. Smith's kicked towards Crow. There's that jump again, Jason. Straight yep. up the air. Well, he'll be keen to make amends, won't he, after leaving that ball behind in the middle for Peckett. Here comes the lead. Oh, that is brilliant. He just kept attacking it, Barker. He plays on, Johnny Barker, in to full forward. And now, Lickers. Hawthorne through Angelo can regain. A share of the lead. Well, the kick from Crow to Barker was brilliant. He squared it up, and Barker led from the goal square and marked it on the 50. That's how good the kick had to be. And then Barker just moved it on. Oh, jeez. Snuck it in. <laughs> just. It's all you've got to do, though. It's all you've got to do. Angelo Lekas gets his first goal for the night. I'll tell you what, the, uh, the 37,940 people that are here at Colonial Stadium tonight are riding every single kick and contest that happens. The mark from Barker, he chips it over to Lekas. And Lekas, he just tried to steer it through from 25 metres and he had to ride it through to sneak it inside that right-hand goalpost. There's the St Kilda coaching box. A little bit agitated. Something's not quite right, but scores a level. 86 apiece. Just under seven minutes left, and Everett's been magnificent tonight. One of the best games I've seen him play in terms of contesting and being in the action right throughout the course of the game. Hayes had it and lost it. Hudson tried to just squeeze it out, taken by Clark to Tant, to Tallis. He's been magnificent, Raiden Tallis. Can he kick a goal at 50 and closes? Hamill's getting back. Off hands. Kept alive by Swartz. <laughs> now the rebound to Peckett, the goal kicker, the veteran. A casual bounce. Wants to set it up. Stewie Lowe's got him in his sight. Oh. He's got it. <laughs> now you see him, now you don't. It was a puff of smoke. He pulled a rabbit out of the hat. And Barry Hall's got it. Right on 50. No one in the goal square. He's going to have a ping. Right to the line. Saints in front by a point. You just see uh, when Lowe gets the ball, Chick comes in to tackle, and he thinks he's going to handball over the top, so he's off looking for his opponent. And Lowe hung on to it. Tremendous atmosphere here at Colonial Stadium. The ground looks an absolute picture. It's been completely relayed. There's a shot down the ground. That's Smith. There's a collision out here on the wing between Peckett and also McFarlane, taken by Barry Hall. Goes short on the stretch, Huxton. Max 
Fox has got it. Hasn't kicked a goal this year. Be a good time to start, KB. Five and a half minutes left. Boy, listen to the Saints fans if he threads this one through. Hutchton from 40 metres. It looks good. It looks very good. Well, there's no stopping him now. They've just been persistent all night. You had to query the kick out. Going to a one-on-one -on -one contest. Barry Hall, a much bigger and stronger player than Tim Clark. He recovers well and then finds the stretching Max Hudson, who, as KB said, hadn't kicked one this year, but what a way to get your tally started. And they've been at a premium, a real premium, the good diehards and killer supporters there. Yes, and ZZ Top is a as well. There was a bit. <laughs> blood rule coming off now, but he's complaining that there's no blood on whatsoever. The umpire sent him off, so uh, he'll be back on shortly. So, a big goal for Maxi Hudson. The fifth in his career, the fifth in 90 games. But a telling goal indeed. The margin now, seven points. Still plenty of time for the Hawks if they're good enough, but it's Burke out of the centre. Down towards the half-forward line, and Maxi once again. This time he can't take it at the first attempt. It was thrown out. It was thrown out by Lowe, who was trying to find Hudson. So Rawlings and Leckis and Co will start an attack from the last line of defence. It's an interesting hand pass, but uh, Harford is equal to the task. He runs out of half-back, has a couple of ounces. Can have another one. Shepherding sees him clear. Baker's taken out of it. The lead is on. The pass was a good one. Barker is still a long way from home. He's 55 out. A real sense of urgency now for the Hawks. They need at least two straight kicks. Crow! Just great pace there, wasn't yeah. it? You can see, you can see Aaron Hamill just thumped the ground because he got caught. He looked for the wrestle, he looked to body Crowe, and Crowe just spun around him. He was initially at behind. He spun around to the front and just took off off the mark, and Hamill just got caught. You just see him there. He's got the front spot. He's looking to make body contact. He just loses him, and then it's too late. The kick comes in. Three goals all in the first half. This to cut the margin to just one point. Crow from 25. Trent Crow keeps the Hawks' hopes alive. With goal number four, under four minutes left, and one point the difference. That's what makes him a good player, Jason, is the, is the fact that he's so quick off the mark. Yep. This kick wasn't a good kick, no, as look, you can you, see. You can't blame, you can't put too much blame on Aaron Hamill. He's trying to do his best. He's trying to make contact. He's all over him. He's trying to cut off the lead. You can just see Crow just gets there and explodes, and in the, in the twinkling of an eye, it's too late. It's all over. 14-9-93, the Saints. They lead by a point, 13-14-92. Centre bounce just so important. Thompson comes charging in, got his hands on the ball, and here comes Chick on the Hawks. Crow down in front, wants a kind bounce, and gets it. Needs support. Comes from Crawford. Sets it up. Graham oh. wants a bounce, runs into the open goal. Crawford in front. Can you believe it? Well, this game's had everything. And when was the last time you can remember it? A clear win at the centre bounce for Hawthorne. They finally got one. The quick kick, I think it was Chick or Bowyer that got it out of the centre square. And after it looked like they might fumble, they finally got the ball out to Graham, who's been on and off the ground, but he accelerates and slots it through. And this game takes yet another twist. <laughs> now it's the Hawks fans turn to roar. Peter Schwab, Gary Bacanara and co marshalling their troops for another tilt out of the middle Thompson Nathan Thompson with time here comes the forwards Barker and Crow oh, take a free kick take it too high it's a Hawthorne ball Clark played on but it'll come back and Barker will take all the time in the world to go back and kick for his fourth goal
Well, he did everything right. He spoiled the ball, Schwartz, but then in the end, the arm that was coming out of the top just caught the top of the head of John Barker. And the umpire didn't really have a choice. He had to pay the kick. And this is so important. If he, if he kicks this, all of a sudden they've got to kick two goals in Kilda in the remaining few minutes. And goals have been at a premium. But if he only kicks a point, there's still only one kick the difference. Some might suggest that a draw could be a fitting result. Quite possibly, Sandy. So, John Barker. One of the game's nomads. Settled now with Hawthorne. Steadies from 45 metres and kicks the goal. That's going to make it tough. Barker has four. And again, the Hawks have a little bit of breathing space. Well, they've come from everywhere, the Hawks, to congratulate Barker. Also, Mark Graham, they're all going. They're getting very emotional up forward. You can just see the arm popping the head, but look, this game's not over. There might only be uh, two and a half, two and three quarter minutes left, but some Kilda have been coming all night. Don't expect them to give up now. Hawks by 11 points. Johnny Barker's kicked a goal in every quarter. Everett to beat them. So important now, but Chick gets the all-important kick out of the centre square. Every time it's coming to their forward line, a Hawthorne player has led a St Kilda player to the ball. Graham, half smothered off the boot, Tullis goes to the ground. Hamill from half-back, penetrating kick, looking for Burke. Bundled over that time by Joel Smith. He's going to do the shepherding. Good hard running, Chick. They set it up. They've got the numbers. He's got great on his got own. It. And Johnny Barker's in front. Well, he's still got to in the goal square, but he's better off taking his time, Barker, and just going back and having the shot. It must have been a tough decision for Mark Graham whether to pass to the lead or try and bomb it long to the square to Crowd on his own. But it was a good kick. Barker just kicked the one that gave them the good break. This one, you'd think, if he can kick it, would sew it up. Was that a little smile on his face as he took that mark then, Jason? Well, looked like a little grin to me. <laughs> <laughs> I would wait till I've kicked the goal before I started grinning. Johnny Barker going for goal number five. They lead by 11 points. They now lead by 17. Gee, this is some turnaround, isn't it? St Kilda, feeling at five minutes ago, look as though they're going to win the game. It's a sign really of a good did. side. Yeah. They just put the foot down, but they've been trying to do that all night and they haven't been able to all of a sudden. What a difference it makes when you kick straight for goal. You take the pressure off yourself. Chick's been tremendous in the last quarter. Graham, when he came back on the ground, has had a, cup, uh, a hand in a couple of goals, kicked one himself. And Barker, well, this man just keeps on producing. Amazing. And the amazing thing, they've kicked four goals in five minutes, the Hawks. And the number of marks that their players have taken, Thompson with 11, Crowd with 12, Barker with 11, Dixon with 10. That's extraordinary. Barker has five goals, Crowd has four two match-winning performances because there's only a minute and a half left. Tallis caught one, but he can wear that on his 100th game. He'll be celebrating in a little over a minute. Beatham caught, tries to get the ball out. Malcolm Blight will be scratching his head now, saying, look, we get to the front, we just can't go on with it. Chick and Harper defend grimly. Hawthorne are safe. Rawlings kicks it high and long up towards centre wing. Off the head of Tallis it comes down to Lenny Hayes. Gives it off to Powell. The long, wide, looping hand pass goes to Knowles. Not a happy birthday for him tomorrow. And it's taken over the line by Harford for throwing on centre wing. A great example of those marks we're talking about. Inside 50, Hawthorne have taken 26 marks to St Kilda's 11. Low, palming down, but straight to Chip. He's been very good in this role. He dashes clear, puts it out in front of Graham and Garrick. Hamill comes to meet it now. Crowe was left behind in the wake. Gale coming into the side has been excellent. Lowe leaves the ground as I speak and Baker goes on. But time is the enemy now as Voss goes in towards the middle. Beetham dashes through that area. Tumbles a long punt towards Big Bad Bustling. Over the top and he kicks a goal. It's an odd-looking kick, but it got the job done. They just don't know 
how to lay down St Kilda. It's a great trait to have. They're going to run out of time, but gee, you've got to take your hats off to the way they've kept coming tonight. Yeah, just 17 seconds remaining. Beetham had the opportunity of running through that half forward line, going over the top of Hay and Hall. He gets a belated goal. It's been a game fight once again, but it's going to be to no avail because there are just seconds left. 11 points the margin. Thompson and Everett go at it once more. Harford with strength had it, then lost it. Everett tries to get out of the middle now. Gives the hand pass away to Hayes. Hayes goes to Burt, holds it quickly. Finishes with Moyle. 55 out. Here comes Big Bad Bustling. And there goes the siren. The Hawks continue on their winning way. Unbeaten after seven rounds in a thriller. 11 point victors. The final scoreline Hawthorne 16 14, 110. St Kilda 15 9, 99. The margin 11 points. Johnny Barker 5 goals, Trent Crow 4, Ben Dixon kicked 2.